Mahmoud Adib, who is a member of parliament of the Rajya Sabha and also the one who wrote a letter to President Barack Obama of the United States regarding a visa being given to Narendra Modi now joins me here in the studio. Uh, Mr. Adib, my ma uh, first question to you is, do you see this visit as Nancy Bauer meeting Narendra Modi as a change in the stand of the US uh, in granting a policy to Narendra Modi in the future? It might, it might be because uh, Narendra Modi ultimately actually he is a, a prime minister candidate of the corporate houses and the business houses and they will be able to more beneficial to the American system of business and initially when we wrote a letter to Obama we simply asked certain questions that since you have revoked the visa of Narendra Modi on the ground that you found that Narendra Modi has violated the human rights and you claim yourself as a champion of the human rights. The fact of the matter is they are not. But since they might be feeling in that sense because he has been projected in India by the media and the, by, the, by the money which has been spending nowadays. Uh, there are rallies where thousands and crores of rupees have been spent. Thousands and thousands of people have been transported from different places to the rally and big stages has been arranged, spending crores and crores of rupees. Definitely this money is coming from the corporate houses mm -hmm. and the big business houses. Mm -hmm. And that might be one of the reasons that America might start thinking that if Modi will come, he will serve his interests more than any other party. Now, experts are saying that the reason why Washington is perhaps doing this is because they're sensing a Modi wave. Now, elections is a very strange game and suppose in, uh, uh, come May and the BJP is not able to form a government. Do you see that the, uh, uh, that the US or Washington will perhaps do a reverse again? I think they are the business people. Americans have got the only interest in the world where they can make money. They have they're the biggest market they can see that is India. And since Congress government has given them chance, open the economy, and the Americans are the biggest beneficiaries than the China. But the China doesn't want to interfere in the internal affairs of the country. Otherwise, America is the most, uh, I mean, the biggest country in the world which wanted to provoke his policies, wanted to capture their policies by way of doing business, making money, and since America has got a dual responsibility or aim, first to capture India, Indian market, right, and secondly, they wanted to influence the policies of India. But we, as a, as an Indian, and we as a parliamentarian, feel that the road for Modi is too far to be a prime minister. But tell me something: you cannot deny that this is greatly going to help the image of Narendra Modi. The fact I don't that the think, US I, I is don't, also I, I don't think because I still feel that most of the people in this country knew what happened when the East India Company come and captured our country. So we are no we the people understand very well that might be the urban people, but seventy five percent people live in rural areas. They know if somebody comes to India, capture our market, they have already captured our market. And they have already uh, finish the local handicraft and other businesses okay. in India. Okay. And since Modi is 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 the right person for American publicity, okay. so America might be thinking to change his policy, but I don't think after two three years, two three months, this will be possible. Okay, Mohammad Adib, member of Parliament of the Rajya Sabha, clearly saying that as far as the perception game is concerned, that maybe perhaps globally it might be different, but for 75 percent of Indians who are actually going to vote in May, this might not make too much of a difference. Thank you so much for joining us here on Newsnight.